Hey guys, let's talk about alternative styles for the Bichon Frigé. Bichons like Breezy are beautiful in full coat. While Breezy was completing her AKC championship, she was kept in full coat. However, one month after this photo was taken, the average full coat Bichon will look just like this. But now that she is a champion, she can sport a more manageable trim. So today I am trimming her shorter with an Asian Fusion Flare. Asian Fusion trims feature flared legs, a short body, a very short chin, and an oval mustache. Before I wash her, I will remove the bulk of the coat using a 5 8 HT blade. This blade is made by Andis. I am clippering the entire trunk of the body, including much of the neck hair, all of the chest, and the undercarriage. Next, I will scissor off what I can, blending the legs into the shorter hair on the body. During the prep work, I am putting Chris Christensen Saving Grace directly onto the stained areas to allow this product time to work prior to the bath. I put this onto the dry coat and work it in completely coating the stained areas. I start the neck hair from the shoulder area. Dropping the head down and forward, I can scissor off the neck hair while still keeping a natural look. After a salon bath, I towel dried her thoroughly and then got her as dry as possible with a high velocity dryer. I finished drying her with a fluff dryer, brushing and fluffing the coat as it dried. I find that dogs prefer this dryer, especially on the head. Using a 40 blade, clean the pads really good. With a 5 blade, clipper the underside against the lay of the coat all the way up to the armpits. Go back over the clipper work with the 5 8 HT blade, smoothing out the pre-bath clipper work. Brush all of the coat down over the feet and scissor off anything that falls below the pads.
Now, taking your hand, gently wrapped around the leg, slide the hand down towards the foot and scissor around the foot, taking all the hair that pushed outwards onto the table. This is an easy way to get a quick beveled foot. When attempting to create flare on the legs, I take about one to two inches straight down the front of the back leg. This area is trimmed well into the flank. Unlike our proper Bichon trim, in which the hair from this area meets the last rib. On the back of the back leg, I scissor this area tight down to the bottom of the big thigh muscle. I then scissor the rest of the leg full, blending into the shorter areas. To create the flare on the front legs, I scissor an angle dropping from just below the point of shoulder, dropping about an inch or so. I also scissored the elbow area in tight to create the flare on the front leg. After this, I scissor the front legs angling down and out towards the beveled foot. That's a good girl, Breezy. From this rear view, you can see just how tightly the top of the back legs are trimmed, flowing into the fuller hawk hair. The inside of the legs should appear parallel. As I continue to work around the dog, I will simply repeat and match one side to the other. Continue scissoring to create the desired shape, smoothing out the scissor work as you go. Constantly combing and scissoring until the coat looks velvety. Under the front legs, I scissor out all of the hair as short as I can get it. One thing is for sure, Bichons tend to have big heads. The perky Bichon loves to be the center of attention, and he will often think up fun games to entertain his family. His signature outlook on life is a cheerful attitude. He is well-mannered and loves to be around people, children, and other pets. The exact origin of the Bichon Frege is unknown, mostly because so many colonies of small, light-colored dogs thrive throughout the world. 
These milky white dogs included the Maltese from Malta and the Bolognese from Bologna, Italy. The Bichon was instantly popular with visiting sailors who traveled with him and probably traded the small fluffy dogs in their ports of call. He became a favorite of 16th century French royals, including King Henry III of France, who is said to have carried his dogs in tray-like baskets hung from his neck from ribbons. When the fate of the wealthy took a downward turn in the French Revolution, Bichons were tossed out into the streets and soon became a pet of the commoner. But this playful and capable breed soon became employed as loyal companions of organ grinders and circus performers. Tilting the head down, I use my curved shears backwards to create a natural flow of the neck hair. Then I start to round the head into this shorter neck hair to create a balanced look. Using thinning shears, I carve a line just behind the eye so that the oval shaped mustache will have definition. Using curved blending shears, I start to create the oval shape of the mustache. Combing the mustache up and back, I scissor a flat line across the muzzle, being careful to keep some fullness here. Then I scissor the lip area to expose the lips. Clipper the entire chin with a five blade, being sure to get the areas right in the corners of the lips that some hair tends to hide. Trim the ears short and round them into the head.
Now Breezy has a short, fun trim. She can enjoy swimming and playing without having to worry so much about her hair. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.